Welcome to Scanny TV on YouTube once again. Let's talk about six blasters goalkeepers. What are their performance? What is happening? Currently, about three of them are losing their positions in their various clubs. Yes, initially they were the number one, and now things are changing of which we all need to be concerned because currently the blaster defenders are doing very well. The midfielders are also performing well. I think they are doing good. Then the strikers have also started banging in the goals. And I think one department of the game we really need to look at is the goalkeeping aspect. Out of these six top goalkeepers I'm going to talk about, three of them are about to lose their positions or they are on the verge of losing their positions at their various clubs. Let's talk about it here on this channel. Then I'll also be reading your messages that you sent to me in the last video because Joseph Day yesterday prompted me that, yes, I should be reading some messages and thank you. Joseph Day, you are also an added viewer here. So I'll go, I'll be reading some messages here. Then I'll also be giving some shout out in this particular video. So these six goalkeepers, we will talk about first of all, Joseph Wallacott. We will talk about the second goalkeeper, that is Richard Ofori, who is the goalkeeper for Orlando Pirates. Then the third goalkeeper we we'll look at will be um, Manaf Nouredin, who is the goalkeeper for Cars Epin. We will then move on to check out on Lawrence Atizigi, who is the goalkeeper for Saints Garland. We will move on to check out on Razaka Belowa, goalkeeper for Sherry Terespo. And then we will now come down to the only one for the Black Galaxies. That is Donald Ibrahim. Let's check about it on this channel. Before then, smash on the subscribe button if you haven't joined the channel yet. Put on the post notification bell on all for more updates here on this channel. So let's begin from the Black Stars number one goalkeeper. That is Joseph Wallacourt. I've brought you a lot of updates about this goalkeeper. That currently he is in hot form for his club side. And he has now been the number one since he joined Charlton Athletic in the English League One. Now, just two days ago, as of the time I'm recording this video, he was imposed for his club Charlton Athletic against Warsaw, and his performance was super. He did not concede. His team Charlton won a goal to nil against Warsaw in an away game in the English EFL round two games. So they have qualified to participate in the um, next stage. So he was imposed and he was rated 7.4 by so far score. He did very well and I don't want to talk about statistics here today because I don't want to make this video very long. So for Joseph Volacourt, I think he's doing well. As you can see the statistics on your screens, in his past matches, he's doing well for the club and we really need to applaud him. You can see his rating and everything here on this channel now let's talk about um the next goalkeeper richard ofori who is the number one for orlando pirates for him his position is secured in the club and um this whole season or let me say for the past four matches he has considered only one goal that was the game against cheaper united where he considered one goal and since then his performance has been super keeping three sheets consecutively for his club is a great one for the goalkeeper. So I think Richard Ofori is also doing well, and for him, there is no much that we really need to say about him. Let's talk about the next goalkeeper. That is Manaf Nuruddin. Manaf Nuruddin currently is also losing his position. If you could remember the game that um, KRC Gang hosted Cass Epin, he is the goalkeeper for Cass Epin. He was substituted, and after that match, he has not kept in post or he has not been used against any other team in his club. He was substituted on the 46th minute for goalkeeper Leonard Moser in that game where Joseph Prince also scored a brace. And since then, he is not back again in the team. So I think it's a worrying situation for him because if you can recall what he did for Ghana in the just ended Kevin Cup tournament, I think the goalkeeper really needs to get playing time. And since then, his club has played some matches and Manaf Nouridin is yet to come back into the post. His club played against um, Royal Antwerp. He was not used against um, RFC Seren. He was not used. And it is the second goalkeeper then who is now becoming the first goalkeeper. And I think we really need to be much concerned about this. So let me move on and talk about the next goalkeeper. That is Lawrence Ati Ziki. Now Ati Ziki is also losing his spot at his club. That is um, FC St. Gallen. If you can recall, he picked up a red card in Grasshopper Club Zurich versus St. Gallen, where he got a record on a 90 plus 6 for misconduct. He was banned as well for, you know, um, putting up that behavior when he went in to tackle the player in a very bad way. And since then, 
he is also not being used in post for them so the last matches two matches his club won 15 goals to nil that was um, a cup match then afterwards they play a friendly match against um, stuttgart he was not used as well so now their second goalkeeper is in post and let's see how things will go whether he will be able to come back and take out the current number one goalkeeper for the club or not we'll talk about it here on this channel then the next goalkeeper i'm going to move on to is razak abelora razak abelora is also losing his position for the club side and i I'm, I'm kind of worried you see because i told you that i really need to follow these goalkeepers very well and i've been following them razak abelora is now not the number one again for him the last time he kept for the club was against victoria pleasant victoria pleasant after that he has not kept again for the club he has been on the sidelines for sherry to respond to be playing some matches and we only hope that um today they will be playing a match against punic that is the europa europa league they will play in it today so let's see whether he can make it today so guys the next goalkeeper i'll finish all of is Danlad ibrahim who is the current number one for the black galaxy yes we know him already so um now the season has not started and he will probably be the number one goalkeeper for Kodoko after Kodoko signing party from um you know is it Burkina Faso or something yes so I can assure you that Danlad will be the number one and for the Black Galaxies team too he has been doing very well even um, last two days he played against Qatar he considered two goals though but I think his performance is great and let's see how things will go so now three goalkeepers are losing their spots in their teams these goalkeepers are one Lawrence Atizige, two Manaf, and three Razaka Belowa. These are Blasters possible goalkeepers that we could be using in our subsequent games. Now, let me pick some few messages that were sent to me here on this channel in yesterday's video that I posted on Antoine Semenyo, um for you here on this channel. Now, Pastor Maunya said, if you study the season carefully, you notice that generally all our Ghanaian players are on fire, and I love it. Okay. Thank you. Then um, this one says, that's Godwin Boring Lane. Okay, Godwin, if I didn't mention your name, well, forgive me. Godwin says, I'm very happy Semenyo is back. Good to hear that. Okay, thank you. Bra Kofi Testimony says, good to have him in um, great form. Okay, thank you, Bra Kofi. You have always been here. And Gozie Daniel. And so Zie Daniel. Okay, he says that, um, wow, we hope he will do more exploits uh, yeah he wants us to say that then um gani Mohamed says best striker ever welcome okay um a champion ebenezer says yes he's back trust this guy rough okay that means he they trust him wow yo then um emmanuel or say bones he said good to see him back sure sure then boys boys says ghana for World Cup. all the players are performing thank you boys boys regina afo says summon to the world regina afo thank you for watching um, Elijah Nana Asante says, Congratulations to Semenyo. Okay, great. Ibn Sina. Ibn Sina says, Nice return for Semenyo, surely. Elijah Nana Asante again came with um, Andrea U statistics and a whole lot here. Then um, I'll move on. Elijah Nana again says, More fire. Yo, I'm a football researcher for IU, so no size. Yo, we here. <laughs> great. That is according to Anna for Nehemiah Apusini. Okay, so. Anna for Nehemi, I've seen you. Then um, Mensa Ebenezer says, Nice to see him again. Yo, thank you, Mensa. Bashiru Chusu. Bashiru Chusu says, Good job. Okay, thank you. Good news. That is Richard Amankwa says, Good news. Kenny um, Bauman. Kenny Bauman says, Nice. Okay, thank you, Kenny. Papa Kwabena. Yes, my name I'm Kwabena too. He says, Thanks. Good. Okay. Then Isaac Banks TV says good. Isaac Banks TV, yeah, check him out. He has always been here. Joseph Day, yes, he said that. Hello, Skinny, please. Can you learn to read comments on the channel sometimes? Yes, so I'll be doing that intermittently. So, yes, I'm not doing it today. Thank you. Kimathy, Kimathy, you are one advanced viewer on this channel. Says Everton, no, Dema Jimmy, hey, they should go and buy Semenyo. <laughs> So he's never in there, but Jimmy, you know, like he said, they the food there for gold signs. And you know, we hear Ositex says first year, yes, he was first when I uploaded the video. Mark Kunkumbon says the guy is too much. Mark Kunkumbon, okay. 
says the guy is too mad. And Papa Kwabla again says Ghana to Qatar 2022. We for win the cup home. Okay, and some people were actually like, you know, saying that we should come down with our expectation and a whole lot of good. Uh -huh. So guys, this is the latest news here on this channel. Blasters says goalkeepers. Some are losing their position. Others too are also still a hold of the number one spot. So let me know what you think about it. If you are concerned about it or anything. We shall meet in the next one. This is Oscar TV. And of course, we shall meet later. Please subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more.